Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sai Chiran Malayala. So this video is all about VIT Integrated M Tech. Uh, the reason I choose this topic uh, as in my comeback video is so many people are asking me since last three to four days regarding this particular topic and as well as I received lots of comments regarding this particular thing. So I wanted to give you a clarity over this particular VIT Integrated M Tech whether joining is it is worth or not. Uh, so make sure if you are someone who is interested or if any of your friend who is wanted to join this VIT Integrated M Tech course, do share this video, ask them to watch, then let them take a decision after watching this video. So I'm going to give you all uh, facts, what happening in Integrated M Tech, what will happen if you join there. The reason I'm calling it as facts because I just spoke to a student who is in fifth year of VIT Integrated M Tech CSC with Data Science in Vellore. So I just spoke to her, I got all the information about VIT Integrated M Tech course. So that's why I'm saying watch the video completely, then you take a call whether to join or not or whether to apply or not. So for your information, VIT Integrated M Tech 2024 applications are out now. You can also apply them. I will be leaving the link in the description. If you are interested after watching this video, you can just apply them. So from now on, I'm promising you, I'll be coming up with regular content, but for all that, if you still didn't subscribe to my channel please do subscribe that will be a great push for me and it will be a motivating me to create more and more content for all of you guys so i hope you will all do that for me but for now let's move on to the topic vit integrated m tech whether joining this particular course is worth or not is what we are going to decode by the end of this particular video Chalo. first thing i wanted to talk about uh, curriculum difference between b tech and integrated m tech so there isn't any much curriculum difference between these two courses in VIT. I am talking about specially about VIT. But only thing is here you need to study one more year extra. But I will give you the clarity on that as well. Okay. In VIT Integrated M Tech you have 5 years and B Tech you have 4 years. What happens in VIT Integrated M Tech is the final year will be totally occupied for your internship or project that has 18 credits. So it is mandatory for everyone to do either internship or project. So that is what she was saying to me. Okay. So she is also doing some intern in Bangalore. I just spoke to her. So she is in Bangalore right now. So she is in fifth year. Technically, you are just studying in the college for four years. And the fifth year is specially for your internship or project. So that will be an add on advantage to your resume. And you will also be earning, start earning from the fifth year itself. If you get an internship on campus. Regarding that, we will talk during placements and internships. That's is a separate thing which we are going to discuss in this video as well so please stay tuned, stay tuned for that so that you will get a harsh reality of placements and internships for integrated M Tech. okay coming to BTEC 4 years here you will have 6 months intern mandatory in that case either internship or project in that 6 months is mandatory so here people will study for 3 and a half years and the 6 months will be for either internship or project work but when it comes to integrated M Tech, they will study for 4 years and their internship will be for 11 months or 12 months so it's up to the company and the college okay so that's the clarity about curriculum so talking about uh, subjects and syllabus so subjects and syllabus will be almost similar to the general btech csc and all so there won't be any much difference between subject and syllabus uh, so it's okay i mean so there is no issue with that particular thing comparing btech and integrated mtech even though there is a prior fee difference between integrated mtech and btech course so there isn't much difference in terms of syllabus or subjects or anything but only one thing is you have to study here for five years there you have to study for four years it's a matter of one year so it's up to you whether you wanted to take go ahead or not with this one point coming to second point if i talk about placements so as i already said so uh, usually the placement uh, drive start from July if you are in BTEC I mean the moment you start your final year but when it comes to integrated M Tech, she said that the placement drive will start from March itself two months or two, three, two to three months earlier than the BTEC guys of course again these companies will also come I asked her whether there will be any partiality between BTEC or integrated M Tech. she denied that saying that there won't be any partiality it totally depends on your skill if you have the skill they'll surely take you and the only uh, thing uh, difference between BTEC and uh, integrated M Tech will be so here they will be having 11 month intern here they will be having 6 months intern so which I already mentioned in the first point okay so in terms of placements or also there is no issue between these two 
లైక్ బీటెక్ అండ్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ ఎంటెక్ అండ్ ఐ ఆస్ట్ హర్ వాట్ విల్ బీ ద యావరేజ్ ప్యాకేజ్ అండ్ హైయెస్ట్ ప్యాకేజ్ సో షీ వాస్ సేయింగ్ దాట్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ద హైయెస్ట్ ప్యాకేజ్ వాజ్ అరౌండ్ వన్ క్రోర్ బట్ ఇట్ ఓన్లీ బీ ఫర్ టూ ఓర్ త్రీ పీపుల్ నాట్ మోర్ దెన్ దాట్ సో ఇట్స్ ఎ జనరల్ కేస్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ కాలేజ్ ప్యాకేజ్ డోంట్ జస్ట్ ఫాల్ ఇన్ ద ట్రాప్ ఆఫ్ హైయెస్ట్ ప్యాకేజెస్ హైయెస్ట్ ప్యాకేజెస్ ఆర్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ దోస్ టాప్ టూ పీపుల్ ఆర్ త్రీ పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఐ హోప్ యూ షుడ్ బీ దేర్ బట్ బట్ యూ షుడ్ బి గ్రీడి యాజ్ వెల్ సో దట్స్ వై ఐ మెన్షనింగ్ సో టాప్ ప్యాకేజెస్ ఆర్ జస్ట్ ఫర్ ద నెంబర్స్ సో ఐ ఆస్ హర్ ఫర్ యావరేజ్ so she was not able to say exact figure average figure but she was saying that so the more number of companies which comes uh, are under the bracket of 6 lakhs to 20 lakhs so that means average would be around 10 so if you are decent enough if you study a bit good so you will easily get placed so i asked her uh, percentage of placements like uh, how many people get placed every year so she was saying that at least like uh, 20 to 30 people will be left over uh, at the end of the course so those people we need not to mention in whatever college it is even in nid or iit there will be few people who will not focus on their studies and uh, they don't focus on placements and all it depends on it depends on you how you are using the time after going there so if you continuously uh, like learn as many skills as possible and get placed or get an intern as soon as possible so it will be good for you so that's the thing okay and so th- there won't be any partiality between integrated mtech and btech i heard the similar companies will come for all btech students and for all integrated mtech students in the in this case also it's good right so there is no issue with integrated mtech if you want to join okay of course academics gurinchi maatladukunnam non academics gurinchi kuda maatladukovali kada so if i talk about non academic things other extra curricular activities i asked whether there will be any partiality between btech students and integrated mtech students regarding clubs societies and the fests and all that she was saying there is no such partiality for btech students and integrated mtech students all the clubs societies fests everything will happen together only so there is one more thing in this particular uh, vid is you can go for a study abroad program as well so it's a student exchange program kind of thing so 3 years you will be studying here and uh, the rest 2 years you can study there so for example if it's like 200 credits you have to complete in order to get a degree if you already completed let's say 150 degree by the end of your 3 years in the remaining 50 credits you have to complete there so these credits will be transferred there and ultimately like you have to pay extra fee of course so not not based on the same fee right so there will be vacancies you have to apply it seems if you are interested you can apply and you can go go to uh, abroad colleges where this vit have a tie up with those colleges you can go and complete your course there and get the degree from there so that is also one opportunity available so it's not only for vit integrated mtech it also for btech courses so you have option of 2 plus 2 or means 2 years here 2 years in abroad or 3 plus 1 3 years here or 1 year there so it's up to you how you plan if you are interested so that is also one uh, chance available for you guys if you're joining vit integrated mtech okay and uh, there is lots of questions being asked around uh, whether we are allowed to do masters later on after this particular integrated mtech course so absolutely yes so you still you can have the chance to do masters if you want to or if you wish to do uh, after your integrated mtech course so you are allowed to do that there is no issue with that so i think that is also clear ivanna idha maatladeskunam fine so ivanni itla nunchi aitha meeku okka clarity ochindha nanu anukuntunna but still few people will ask me few questions but still few people will ask me few questions whether these things will be similar in chennai campus and ap campus yes all these things will be similar in all the campuses because the placements and internship drives happen uh, may, may, like whatever companies which comes to vellore will also go to chennai and will also go to ap few of the drives will happen online few of them will have offline so if the company insist that chennai students and ap students should also come to vellore in that case college will take care of your uh, expenses and all because you pay f- as a placement fees something such as such so they will be taking you to the vellore campus so accommodation food they will arrange everything so you have to go you have to give your interview and come back so all these facilities will be provided by the college they will take care it seems so that is what she was saying to me so which is a good thing so even if you are in different campus don't worry about that placements will be internship placements and internships should be similar in all the three campuses and coming to order of the courses so a order lo teeskunte better a course ni prefer cheyali that's one question many people ask me 
so i would say first prefer vit vellur at any day vit vellur is at the top because it's a main campus then chennai then ap that's what i would say in that case like um, in vellur what course should i prefer first preference should be given to core then csc with data science then csc with software engineering these are the top 3 courses in vit vellur according to her and coming to chennai uh, there is a ai course as well so you can also prefer that if you are interested in ai okay so uh, no issue because it's a combined placements it won't be mattering you much but still if you are in the main campus the feel will be different vit vellur that's a beautiful campus as well so that's what i wanted to say and next thing uh, for sure you are going to ask me anna na kin tochne na feet osada raada so yeah uh, i asked her uh, like according to my experience i would say if you are somewhere around 800 plus i'm talking about telangana and ap students if you are someone who is around 800 plus for sure you might get some seat for sure i'm i'm not anyone from my administrative team okay please give that in the mind i'm just giving you uh, based on my experience i've seen people who got seat with 800 plus marks as well so if your luck favors you might also get a uh, seat with 700 plus also but the category will be different category 1 will be the least fees category 2 will be the slightly higher category 3 will be even more higher in each and every branch so based on the category you get allotted the fees will be similar for all the four years so that is one of the main reason why main uh, majority people are having dilemma like why the fees is less and they are offering us these many courses so i think after watching this video you have got some clarity so now if i say whether is it worth taking this particular integrated mtech in vit so according to her experience for last 4 years or 4 and a half years so she is now doing internship from vit vellore i mean she is doing an intern in bangalore of course but she is a student of vit integrated mtech in her 5th year she said me that it's a worth taking that course so no need to worry and there are comparing it with the local engineering colleges i would say if you are not worried about that one extra year i already said that one extra year also if you study properly you will be doing intern okay you will not be studying in the college okay so if you can get an intern if compared to local college vit will be always better if you can get into category 1 2 okay category 1 2 when when it comes to category 3 4 5 you have to think about your financials so whether your parents or family can afford that fees or not if they can afford that fees any day vid integrated would be better if you can uh, ready to give you one one year without doing job like it will be considered as internship 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 never considered as a experience of full time okay so internship is different full time offer is different so doing internship is something like 50% of the job but the similar work you will be doing there but on paper it's different so that's what i want i wanted to say if you are okay with that you can surely go for integrated mtech course at vit okay so that's uh, more about uh, vit integrated mtech so 2024 applications are already open if you want to apply you can apply so let me know how uh, whether you got some good information from this video or not so if yes tells kada subscribe cheyandi support cheyandi manchi videos tho manchi content tho mee munduku vastune unta back motivation ivvandi abba chesestha okay chalo uh, so what should be my next video which i should talk on so let me know in the comment section okay and uh, if you want any changes in the way i make videos let me know that as well in the comment section so that i'll try to change the way i create the content okay chalo bye bye uh, see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind and by the way josa csap mentorship is going to come soon so this year also we are going to guide few students who are interested be ready soon we'll launch it okay you can register so that we'll start our work as soon as possible to make the things clear for your josa and csap counseling bye bye